Oh, guys. Gonna take a little trip. Mmm, good cold start. Maybe it'll start about three days. I say cold, it's like 70 degrees. Watch my whole pressure gauge. <laughs> I know the problem is those white stickers that I put on there for white face gauges. There's a little bubble right behind that hand that it catches on. The tiniest of things you would never expect to be a problem. Guess what? It's a problem. That didn't bother me. I keep a good close check on my fluids. We're going to go down in the field with the old 95 here and see if we can find some loose parts for our friend Stoney. Already been scavenging and got a little bit lucky. I'm kind of making this video primarily for him, but for everybody else too. Um, just because I'm having so much dank gone fun. Oh, here we go. Go to the cliff. I ain't joking. Behind that white grand prix is about 150 foot straight down the rock face. It is a cliff. But that's not what we're looking for today. We are down here. How do you get now? Nope, I can't tell. We are down here for this 65 F100 to see if this old girl has a rear view mirror she can send on up north to our good friend. And I hope she does. Because if she does, that means I don't have to dig. <laughs> Hey, I think I see one. I've got others. I should have actually quite a few. Woohoo, there's one. Dang, there's three. Them two don't have bases. Oh. Yeah, that one is actually a different model here. That one has got good glass. That's the correct model here. I ain't even pulling the camera in the right place. And there's a wasp. I don't know what it is, a wasp. They love making nests in board trucks. So what we're going to do... Take this off, we'll know if it was ever removed when they painted the truck. I got a feeling it was. This truck was. The darn shame this truck's in the shape it's in. You can see the custom Flintstone floor. That ain't why I bought it. I bought it for the bed, which is on my truck now. Actually, I didn't even buy it. I traded my 80 model for it. There's Fred sneaking up on me, scaring the daylights out of me. Thanks, Fred. Oh, he loves it when I come down here. He thinks I'm going to mow the grass, because when I mow the grass, I stir up the rabbits, and he loves him a rabbit. Okay. The reason I say it's a shame this truck was, uh, well, killed off. But you didn't kill off. I got plans for this thing. I'm hoping. I don't know for sure. But um, check it out. Factory automatic, and that is factory. This truck was a custom cab 390 automatic. The gentleman I got the truck for when he bought it, it still had the 390 automatic in it, and he let his brother have the engine transmission. And I traded him out of the truck. But today, she donates a rear view mirror. 
Let's celebrate. Good deal. I'm pleased with that. Now, well, now we got work to do. I can't send my friend something that looks like that. Fortunately, I don't have any white paint. diplomat I miss that car so bad it just kills me it being down here like it is come on old girl let's go never spun a wheel I just didn't give it no fuel ground's actually dry it's not even four wheel drive or anything. So every day is Lord's Day, but um, I don't know. It seems like you try to do something on Sunday like that. It always backfires. <coughs> and with that said, today would have been a decent day to try and go and get my bomb down in the woods. And I'm going to make a video of that for you guys. Look for it. It'll be called um, it'll be named journey to the hundred acre woods and nope Winnie the Pooh is not there but what is there is my one of my future projects that I've already acquired um, I've told you about before because I thought I was going to get it before Excuse me. and uh, didn't work and now it's looking like it may end up being a thing for me but 55 Ford two door post car um 272 wide block three speed on the column i'm pretty sure the engine's locked up don't matter i wouldn't know to use it anyway i might pull it out and take it apart just uh, for curiosity's sake and with it comes a 56 four-door post um i'm not sure what trim level it is it's got all the chrome on it though but it's just a parts car both of them are very rusty um, put it this way, I got them both so cheap that if I get the 55 home and decide that it's just beyond what I want to do to, re to get back on the road, because I want to make a hot rod, I don't want to restore it. This car is beyond restoration, really. Um, I don't know which way I'd go with it. It may go gas or it may just go straight up hot rod. I may just drop a 302 in it and run a crap out of it. I don't know. <coughs> Either way, there's a few in front of it. So I may be a hundred years old when I do it, but if it's too bad, it could get uh, possibly sold in the future. I hope not, or it could get parted out. We're just going to see. I've looked at it sitting in the woods, uh, and at about 150 degrees outside, or that's what it felt like. And I got to look it over, but uh, it's literally sunk down to the rims. And there was no climbing under it. I'm sure the floors are bad. I'm sure all that's rough. I looked at the title to the 656. It's been sitting in the same spot since 1965. Um, but the 55 has all the glass in it. And like I said, I can't go wrong. I mean, I got it so cheap I can crush it and make money. But I've always wanted a 55. And this one's got such wicked cool patina. So... As soon as I get, it may be a month from now, I may have to wait until I get funds to make the trip because it's a round trip for me with this truck over there with the trailer is like 50 bucks to where it's at. I got to pay the man the last 50. I owe him on it and I got to make two trips. So I'm a poor guy, but I've been selling some miscellaneous Pontiac parts. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to go and do something here, and we'll talk to you later.